Uh, well, here it is, a um, 1996 C Sprite 2100 ES bow rider, uh, originally powered with a Mercruiser 5.7 liter uh, small block V8 engine, which I have just completed rebuilding. Uh, I've been working on this since last fall and finally have it all back together. Uh, this is powered by a uh, Alpha 1 Stern Drive, Alpha 1 Gen 2. And today is the uh, moment of truth, the day of truth. I'm going to uh, start it up for the first time and uh, see how it runs. I have the um, water muff connected to the Stern Drive, freshwater uh, seawater input on a little Stern Drive. Uh, this will circulate water up to the stern drive, providing it to the pump that I have installed on the close cooling system. And that will circulate uh, the uh, cooling water through the heat exchanger, which will cool the coolant to keep the engine cool. I have the uh, distributor out right now, uh, so I can use this tool here on the end of a cordless drill so I could spin the oil pump inside the engine without turning the engine over and moving any of the parts uh, that will get the engine uh, pre-charged with lubrication and then uh, I could put the uh, distributor back in and get that set and then uh, uh, when I first attempt the start, the start up of the engine all the parts are moving then they'll have uh, a good uh, coating of oil very important step. Uh, so this is the uh, Mercruiser engine that I had rebuilt. I got the boat uh, last fall and worked on it many hours since then. It's now uh, uh, early summer and in June and I'm going to get ready to start it for the first time. I completely rebuilt the engine. It has a new block in it. Standard bore. All the original parts were in great shape so I moved them over. I um, picked up some gently used heads and rebuilt those as well and even installed a uh, closed cooling system which was originally from a blue water edition mercruiser i believe it was it was a rear mounted system so i had to spend a lot of time making custom hose work and routing as well as tig welding some stainless steel brackets to mount it in the front and keep it in really tight so that the uh, engine cover will fit over it which we have yet to see well i got the oil all circulated put the distributor back on in uh, rough alignment for firing on the number one cylinder. After assembling the engine, I had it done the uh, compression stroke of the number one. I got it uh, lined up and I can spin it by hand to uh, time it after it's running. Timing gun ready to go. I just have to start the uh, water to, uh, to the uh, muffs on the stern drive and then I think I'm ready to go. Well, I, I got the, air, uh, the water running to the uh, stern drive through the muffs there into the gills of the lower unit. I don't see it coming out. It's been a little while. I don't see it coming out the exhaust port yet of the stern drive, but since I installed the closed water cooling system, there is a uh, pump there with a rubber impeller that may be stopping it from going all the way through uh, until the engine's running. So I would be very careful. I'll try to start the engine. If it runs, I'll immediately check to make sure I have water circulating out. I'll have a little bit of time though because I have it filled with uh, four gallons of uh, antifreeze in the heat exchanger so uh but i will keep an eye on that and make sure it flows through here we go well, well i got it started it wouldn't start uh at first i thought i wasn't getting fuel uh, it turned out it was flooding because the choke was stuck so i disabled that for now got it running it was squealing had to adjust the uh tighten up the alternator belt and then did a quick rough uh, timing by hand just to get it dialed in till it would run decent did the quick timing uh, 10 degrees before top dead center. I have to tweak that a little bit more, but it runs. And uh, here's some evidence.